Okay, guys, so I'm like really genuinely pretty excited about Mist. I'm playing on Xbox uh, xCloud, so I'm playing on Linux with xCloud with my PlayStation controller and Xbox game, which is which is a weird, ex <laughs> weird experience, to say the least. Um, I never played Mist originally. Like, I'm aware of Mist. I'd seen Mist being played. I'd seen other people. I've been in rooms with other people playing Mist, and what happens is they walk around for 40 minutes and then leave and go, that's shit. And <laughs> never load it again. So. Last night I was chatting with 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 friend of the show Drewbury Shortcake, uh, and I was like, "Hey, I missed is on like this missed game. This new missed game looks like kind of intriguing." You know, there was conversations about the Witness and how like it really is like the Witness a modern version of it. I was like, "You know what? It's an Xbox Game Pass. I'm an Xbox Game Cloud Pass thing. I'm going to load it up." And I loaded it up just to walk around and be like, "Look, missed. You know, um, ooh, uh, I'm going to load game. Load my auto save. There we go." Um, you know, like I'll I'll walk around. You know, I'll have a look around. I'll just look around. We'll relive the the confusion. And then as I'm in it, I find myself like literally getting sucked in. Like like I was literally like I went from I went from being a lol missed to feeling like Sherlock Holmes and start to puzzle things out. I wasn't even listening to the voice chat. Like I felt like I need to start smoking again to puzzle it out. Like 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 a detective, like a cop show detective or something. Um, and and yeah, this is I'm gonna so. I don't want. I can't really express why this game is fucking genius without giving you some minor spoilers. So I'm going to just give you the minor spoilers. That's that's me plan. Okay, I'm just that's what I'm I'm going to do. I'm just going to give you the minor spoilers. I'm going to explain to you how I solved the puzzle, by which I'm hoping will make you go shit me. Mist is genius. So if you don't want spoilers for Mist, you want to go to it like if so. I'll tell you when the spoilers start. All right. So if you don't, if you want to go into it and you want to be like spoiler free, I'll let you know. But uh, I come into this game, and now, now I looked around, and I couldn't even work out what I was meant to do. Like, like, like I couldn't fathom what the game was. Like, I'm like, I, I think it's a puzzle game, but I can't find any puzzles. And there are these levers everywhere that I literally don't understand. And there are these, there are these signs where animals light up, and I don't know why. Right? Uh, look, an animal. I don't know what that's about, but it's scary. I don't like it. And then over here, there's like this weird fountain thing and i was like oh no the fountain looks like the boat that sunk in the harbor and i didn't even notice the boat was sunk when i came out when i first started um and i was just baffled and confused and it took me literally hours to start to piece together what the point was and what the puzzles are and that is fucking genius like just I, my mind is blown by that like it took me a while to figure out what the game was so this is the spoiler segment now, and it's only a very minor spoiler for one puzzle to explain to you how my brain worked and why I think this game might be genius and how I'm shocked that I haven't come to it before. So, you ready? All you people that want to like come into this virgin, have you like, have you like, have you gone? Have you closed your eyes? Have you put your fingers in your ears or, or just closed the video? Which, you know, don't close the video. I need the round of revenue. <laughs> Imagine. Um, okay, so I found this place here, look, this place here, right? And I found out there's like a map thing on the wall, right? And I was like, what is this? What is this? And I can rotate this thing, right? Which is like, which is like, which is meant, and you, you rotate this thing. And this is like the top, and this is the representation of the island, right? And I was like, that's fucking weird. So I pointed it, pointed it over here. Did I point it over here or did I point it over here? Anyway, I pointed it somewhere anyway. And then I, I, there's a sound of like rumbling. And then I went outside and I was like, hold on a minute. That's that thing. So I'm actually rotating that thing to point at different things. I'm like, oh, cool, cool. So let's go see what's up there. And I was like, hold on. How the fuck do I go up there? Took me a while. Took me a while. Not as long as you think. I don't know why there's a handle here. Why can't I just click on the click on the glass? But, you know, whatever. Um, this opens up. And you're like, this becomes steps. And you're like, okay. Also, there are books there you can read. And they're actually, I, that's how far I got. I started reading books. And okay, I'm going here. And for some reason, which I can't fathom, you have to close the gate before you can use the lift, which is like, because like, it's for VR. And VR shit and ruins games. So yeah, just, you, you just go. You're not in VR. Let me fix that for you. No, fuck you though. Okay, so then I went up here, right, into the, the tower, right. Oh, I've got to open the door myself. I've not. I keep forgetting about that. I start open that door myself. I click on the handle, and eventually I realise that this thing. There's a viewport here. When you go into the viewport, right, you can see outside and i was like that's useful it shows me stuff i can already see from a different angle i was like is that going to be relevant later i still don't know i still don't know but what i also found out was by pointing it at different places you get different pieces of information turn up and by pointing at the lighthouse uh the the, the, the clock tower 
you get this piece of information 24221 key. Like, okay, and when you've got it turned around, that points at the clock tower. Uh, so, okay, let's go in here then. Let's go back and let's use the information 240221. I was like, hmm, interesting. Okay. Go back downstairs. And of course, we have to push the, we have to push the button ourselves, which is annoying. The only thing that you know, does that annoys me is these extra arbitrary control mechanics. It's not like there's anything chasing you. You're alone on this island. It's not like I have to run away from something and they're trying to slow me down. That's annoying. You come out here. You go, oh, the X is blocked. I'm going to get out. It's like, it's, it's, I, I just pull this. I just pull this. Pull this. Oh, that's the wrong one. Pull this one. I'm also so bad at the controller. I wish I could back to the keyboard and mouse. Almost bought it on Steam so I could just play it with the keyboard and mouse. Then I was like, no, that's a stupid use of money, idiot. And I didn't. And also, my, my, my mouse and my mouse goes in the way. It wants everybody. Uh, so I went down here, okay. And I was like, okay, okay. So I worked the dials to get it to 240, and I pushed the button, and then this bridge came out of the water. And I was like, it's a cog bridge. Cool. Uh, and I walked across here, and I pushed this button. And then I found this, right? And it took me a while to realize I had to make this say 221. Uh, and now, I don't know if this is me overthinking it, right? But like, like I pulled this one twice and I held this one down for like four seconds. So 240, and I was like, whoa. And then anyway, and then this cog opened. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, I recognize that cog. And, and I was like, I run back. I was literally, it was like, I was like, go faster. Like there was some sense of urgency, which there's not. But this took me hours to work out, right? Because there's no clues in the game. And it sounds easy. And it is once you understand it, but like, fuck you. It, it was really hard because I'd never played this game before. Uh, and then this opened up. And I was like, whoa, it's a lift. And I was like, hold on, it's a rope. Like, how is this a lift? Not a lift, but it is a lift. But it takes me to this place when I click on the book. Like, I travel by look, by, by, like, and I'm like, is this reading the book? I'm like, is this a memory? Is this a real place? I don't know. And that's awesome, right? And I click on that and I go to that place. I'm not going to show you because that's the end of the spoilers, really, right? Um, and when I get to, when I get there, there's a thing that needs to be done, collected, touched, talked to. Uh, I'm not even telling you what you have to do when you're there. Uh, and then you, you and then that affects the island here, and that is progression, right? But I did not even know what my purpose was while I was there. I could not even fathom what my purpose was. Like, I literally, I literally couldn't couldn't tell you what my purpose was on in those places after I stumbled across it, and. In the time I've been here, right, in the, the hours I spent last night doing it, right, the, the, literally, it was literally, literally fucking hours doing it, right, I have got, I have, I've got access to something through the hut there, which is as much as I'm going to say, I've got access to, to somewhere through the, through, through the cog over there, and I know what the next thing I've got to do is, right, I even know, like, like a rough idea of what orders do them in, and everything I've learned struggled for every single thing i've learned and done in this game i've had to literally puzzle out and what's genius is it's not stupid it's not it's not mental pointless insane logic it's like well thought out well written and and there is there is some sense going on here and the only way and like, like when i was thinking about why am i enjoying this this is literally a ball ache like why am i doing this to myself um after a while i was like this is an escape room like, this is why people like this is like this is the ultimate escape room like the island is the, the escape room and i'm I'm trying to get I, I i feel like i don't know if that is the point but i feel like i want to solve this or escape this or i want to see it to the end because it's an escape room right like this is this is the escape room um and yeah and i want to get through it not because it means anything but just because i want to get through it right like like i, I want to get through it um and yeah that that's that's mind-blowing to me because like I wouldn't have felt like this is a game I would like. like. I literally loaded up so I could go, lol, missed. Like, 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 that was that was literally why I loaded it up. And now I'm like, I'm hooked. I was dreaming about it last night. I wanted to get back. Like, I understand what these do now, right? I understand what these do. Didn't understand that when I came. I was like, what did they do? They don't do anything. And it was only after like an hour of going, hold on a minute, that affects that other thing. I was like, now I get it now. They're for that thing. And I'm like, what is this? What is this thing? I don't even know what this thing is. I, I have no idea what this thing is. But I have a feeling that when I get to the end of the game, I have a feeling that when I get to the end of the game, I'll stand here in a black coat with a hat on. I'll be like, I did right by you, partner. I did right. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I feel because that's the game makes me feel. Like, it feels like, like there's something important to be done. And the fact the game makes, the game feels like something important to be done is great. I mean, that feeling of like, that feeling 
that feeling of like 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 I have to do it. Like I like I'm compelled to do it. Like I want to see it to the end. It's like a really good book, right? You might not be enjoying it, but it's a value, and that's how this game feels to me. And yeah, I'm really excited by it. Uh, whether or not I can keep some momentum up, or whether or not I'll just end up like I'll just end up like you know I'll, I'll end I'll end up just bouncing off it because it'll get too frustrating. I don't know. Like ultimately, because of the kind of game it is, I could watch a walkthrough and have the same experience, right? I just don't get the the, the bit of my brain puzzling, right? But I could just I could see all the things in a walkthrough. So I don't know. But anyway, I, I I'm interested. And the reason that we're uh, I'm just gonna the re- this video's gonna be a bit longer is because what happened last night was I was like I like this but I don't really remember really remember the original mist. So being being a smart fella, um, <laughs> I uh, I paid three pounds to buy Mist Masterpiece Edition, which is the closest thing you can get to the original Mist on Steam. Uh, there is Real Mist, which is the first attempt at a 3D Mist. But no, me being an idiot, I was like Real Mist. I, I, like I want original Mist. I want more proper Mist as it was intended. Um, <laughs> And we'll, we'll we'll just we'll just we'll just we'll just go with this, right? We'll, we'll miss as it was intended. Um, here we go, here we go. Missed as it was intended. Am I? Oh, I, I can't. I literally can't. I literally don't know. Am I? Oh, I'm in the other place. I don't want to do that one. Hold on. Let's get a new game. Uh, all unsafe. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. New game. New game. Yes, new game. Here you go. Whoa! I'm just I've got five emails now. One. Okay, so it's the same game, right? I mean, it is the same game, right? But it's not, right? Like, <laughs> this is look at this, look at this. This is look. It's all the same stuff. It's the same place down there. Look, the same pool of water down there we just saw, right? It's got the same panel over there you can mess with. Yeah, all the same stuff, but like different, which is like weird, right? Like it's just so weird. We'll go up here, look. We'll go out of here. There's that boat thing again, look. We can go up here. And like you just click to move. It's so weird. And let's get into that clock tower that we're so familiar with. Yeah, same but different. And it's it's so it's like even the water's not animated. It's like not like it's static, but the water's animated, or there's the odd bird. It's not even like like diorama. It's it's literally <laughs> it's it's quite literally. Like, yeah. It's like even the, the spaceship, the, like it's all there. It's all exactly the same. And I'm like, I'm like, without the animation, it just feels, I feel lost and jarring. It like just feels jarring without the animation. I feel like I'm on like, you know, in Google Maps when you do the street view, you do the teleporty thing. That's how it feels. Um, so if I want to go upstairs, I click this now. Look, boop. I don't have to put a handle down, which has a weird time targeting. I can just push it, which is, which is good. Uh, that's, that's uh, open now. Look. So let's do the clock tap. Where is it? Where is the where's the paint areas? Oh. <laughs> so good, so good. Okay, tire rotation. Oh, oh you know what? Oh fuck. I just keep pushing escape to get out of stuff. Oh my god. I'm gonna I'm gonna get an exit. Let's do it. Let's do the puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> the puzzle. You can get the same level of progress in like four seconds, which is so weird. So weird. Do, 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 do. Let's let's out, out out there, and then and then and then this way. And then I want to go there. Let's turn that fucking thing on. And then and then and then uh, and then. Nope, that's not. The, I'm so lost. So lost. <sighs> okay, there we go. There you go. Now it's like visible now, right? So we, we can we can go like we can go like. Yeah, you know, look red now. Look at that. It's going red now. Oh my god! Push escape again, and then we can go. Then we can go in there. You know that swell. That swell. Like, can I just? I can just escape that. I think. Yeah, go that way, and then we will go into the lift. Or push the button without closing the fucking door, which is better. Also, mouse is so good. Look, the one bit of animation. Fucking great. <laughs> Thing is, though, I think if, if I had loaded this up, right, I think I would have got hooked on this. I don't think fundamentally the gameplay is any different. Like, like I genuinely, I'm not convinced the gameplay is any fucking different. Look, 240, 221, okay? 240, 221. Okay? It's not, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Tower. There you go. 
Yeah, but I, I think I think Halo loaded this up. I, I think the, I think that the mystery, the, the the lovely mystery game vibe is strong enough that I think I think it probably would have had less of a chance of pulling in. But I think I could easily be playing this now as much fun as I am with the 3D mist on a uh, on it and Game Pass. Um, oh fucking where have I gone now? Oh there we go. Where, 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 where about? And then go out to there, and then. Ah, ah, there you go. It's just, it's just jarring. It's just you don't quite know where you are. And the reason for this is the technical limitations, right? They want to make it look nice at a point when they, no computer can actually render this in real time properly. So, like, like it was, it was, it was, it was an effort was made, you know, to to try and bridge that gap. Three o'clock. Oh no! Do you not be able to see both these at once? Is super fucking annoying. One, two. Two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. Not bad, not bad. Hex, figure it out. Boop, and then wow. See, it's all the same, but it's different. And then like look, boop, two, oh, and then this is lower enough. And if you if you do it wrong, look, I oh, see if you do it wrong. Oh. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, so I've just gone past it. Oh, no, I've just gone past it. <sighs> so I know what to do in this puzzle as well. That's what's annoying. I, did, I didn't hold it down long enough. Look, I have to hold doing one hit. That's the trick. One, two, so. Ah, no, that's that's not two at the top now, is it? I've, I've done that wrong. Haven't I? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. Look at that, look at that, and it opens up, and you're like, oh, I know what to do. I just solved that puzzle. Look at that. See, it's not, it's not. I mean, it's not the same, but like a little bit of three. Like if it just wasn't jumpy transitions, I think I could play it right. Like I genuinely like, yeah. I probably should have skipped tonight if I don't have to, so why would I, right? And then I'm like, I'm in there. And then I can open the book and go like, I want to go into there. And we get this sexy transition, which is actually a big version, a little transition on the book. And these are clues. These are actually clues in what we're going to do. Like these, these transitions do show you things that are useful to solve, the clue, to solve the puzzle, which is interesting. Cool. I like it. I'm impressed. I was like, I yawning because I was up late playing this. So yeah, um, that is essentially, that is essentially uh, what I've been doing for like, for like, you know, the last day and a half, really. <laughs> really. Um, oh, credits. Credits. And then, I'm, you know, uh, if you want to play, if you want to play this version of Myst, um, if, you, if you are like watching like, hey, because I want to be part of your mad escape room from the 90s. That's, that's the right thing to do. Um, I have one friend who has it. Jay Coda has it and he has not played it. Um, yeah, like, so if you want to play this, you, I, I just use Proton Experimental. But it did crash, hard crash, if my mouse left the window. So if you've got multiple monitors or you plan on, on moving to different desktops or alt tabbing, um, use a wine virtual desktop to manage that. Once you put in a wine virtual desktop, the same resolution as your screen, the game doesn't know it's been minimized and it won't crash. That's good advice for anything that crashes when your mouse leaves. Just put in a virtual desktop, problem will solve itself. Um, there's also like there's also real mist on Steam. Uh, real mist, uh, which is in my basket right now. I might buy it. Um, which seems to be the first attempt a 3d mist right it's like the first attempts to make a 3d mist so this should be close to on, on it on game pass while make it's closer to the one on, on, on xbox game pass or, or or the modern one on steam while being close to the original experience at, at the same time so while it's closer to that with the movement it's, it's also gonna is there any video there's no video is there uh, it's 3d i don't know like i said i don't know if transitions that i don't know it is I'm probably gonna bite to try it because if this is the middle ground where i get all the motion uh, if this is the middle of the where I get all that motion. Oh, in fact, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Oh, fucking, that's always loud, isn't it? Always loud. This one. Look at that. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's not. It's not gonna tell us anything fucking useful. Is it? It's literally just gonna be like, look, it's an island. You're like, yes, it's an island. And it's just gonna end. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm hoping it's the 3D. I'm, I'm under the impression it's 3D version. It's just the entire. Tra <laughs> the entire trailer. Oh my god! This is the worst trailer ever. Okay. 
right, I guess I'll I guess I'll just have to spend the fiver to find out then. The Steam's got a refund policy if it's not what it appears to be. Um yeah, good good trailer. Good trailer missed, dudes. Uh, you've done a you've done a bang up job there. But it does say released in twenty fourteen, it's the first three D adaptation of the renowned Mist. Uh HDW Discovery. Your puzzle makes you solve, brings you closer to reversing it wrong. Like, yeah, blah blah blah. Um so yeah. Uh, that may be the one to go. Now, they all do work. Uh, Mist, this is the new one I was playing, the newest Mist. You've gold. Some people report video problems, but Gloria said gold version may or may not sort it. Um, I, enough people have said, like, it just fucking works. Like, it's fine. And if you're missing the videos, it doesn't really affect your gameplay experience, right? And then you've got um, you've got uh, a real Mist, which is the other one, which is gold. Again, same thing. I would guess it's like, like videos. Green board were around books. And pages went how uh, fine. Uh, game runs fine, other than video being white, which again fine. Obviously, everything works at the box. Yeah, so it's a mixed bag, which probably fine. And there is, uh, there is another, the other mist. Um, what is it? Mist at home? What was the one I was just playing called? There's this mist. Uh, there's mist masterpiece edition. Look at that. Let's get to the store page there. Mist masterpiece edition. Let's just copy that. And the, oh, thought that's something else I'm working on. Uh, and then let's just uh, let's just. Uh, Missed masterpiece edition. Like, am I not enough fun? This is this one. Oh, there you go, masterpiece edition. Gold. So again, I'm having no problems with that, but it's only gold. Some people scum BM a dot exe a normal program termination. Okay, like yeah, I'm, for me it's working fine. So I don't know who that is. Maybe it's balked. No, Nvidia balked. Interesting. Oh, that's Nvidia as well, though. So maybe it just started working recently. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's uh. I'm having fun with it, and and I, I mean I've talked for like 21 minutes about Mist, a game from the 90s, so I'm obviously hyped up about it. Anyway, I just want people to try it and have fun with it, like me, and we can all have a lovely time together. I'm I'm probably gonna go and pull the trigger. I'm 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 probably probably gonna pull the trigger on Mist. I'm probably gonna spend another fiver and and try this version out because I can't not. Um. Anyway, come play Mist. Uh, I've gushed about it for half an hour now. Bye. Uh, patreon.com slash xdsl if you want to help me buy 90s puzzle games um, or you can go on my Amazon wishlist and send me misrelated merchandise there's none on there but you know the theory is sound bye